Good evening and welcome to my weekly 10 show. Again, I had to wait for it all to come on. Facebook's so long in coming on. Tonight, I'm talking about something that Facebook does regularly. <laughs> Trigger me, trigger stress. Um, responding to stress positively. Okay, that's what I'm going to be chatting about tonight. And, um, you know, this week it's been uh, a very busy week, actually, um, with lots of speaking events. I'm still writing my, trying to write my book in between when I'm working as coaching clients and when I'm um, doing speaking events. But it's all coming along nicely. But one thing's popped out this week which made me laugh. Um, I've been getting a lot of people contacting me, actually asking if I'm a singing coach. The thing is that people are, um, are seeing the name Mark Singer Coaching and are making the assumption he's a singer coach or he coaches singers. And I've had it probably about half a dozen times now. And it makes me laugh every time. But it does fit in with what I was going to talk about a little bit tonight in terms of the singing aspect. You see, when I was right, thinking about what I was going to talk about tonight, there's one thing that popped into my mind. And it was the song Love Is All Around Us in that film Love Actually. Because if you change one word from that song and to the word we're talking about tonight, which is stress, it becomes quite relevant because stress is all around us as well. So <clears throat> in many cases, we allow stress to completely take over our lives. We um, literally live a life absolutely full of it. And it controls us. It, it takes over everything that we do. And we don't really ever know how we can get rid of that and or deal with it in a way which helps us rather than drains us you know keeps us stood still so so what is it exactly that creates stress <clears throat> is it lack of money is it um, a physical problem that might be happening is it an outside problem such as the government or covid or i don't know whatever for the football team losing i know that creates um, triggers my stress sometimes um you know maybe it's something someone said to you or did um that's triggered you so whatever the the the, the 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 trigger the cause of the trigger i should say that that it is um there's only one thing one thing only which can actually create stress that's you because that doesn't matter what the um the circumstances are or the the this issue that you think create it creates it's not it's the how the way you respond to it we can either react to stress or, uh, stress or we respond to stress. So um, the key difference um, as to whether how, how we you know experience life and have a good day, let's say, or a bad day, is one thing as well. Self-awareness. Because the more self-aware you are, the more consciously grounded in the moment you are and able to actually become much more fully aware of everything that's happening in your life and around you and your thinking, your feelings and ultimately your actions. And so when you're in the actual moment, when you're living your life in the now, stress doesn't exist, nor does worries, nor does anxiety. All of these things disappear when you're in the moment and living in the moment and breathing in the moment and existing in the moment and not in your mind. So <clears throat> stress reactions occur when something or someone uh, triggers us. OK, it triggers a reaction in us and we go into this fight or flight sort of mode instantly. And as soon as anything happens which we're not happy about and we don't like, and it goes against what we think is right, our values, our beliefs, and whatever that may be, something triggers us, we have a stress reaction, that then leads you to have a massive drop of energy in that minute, in that second. What happens then is you go from how you would normally be feeling um, to feeling um, stressed, and obviously start thinking from a perspective which is more uh, in line with things like conflict, victimization. So the thoughts that you'll be having in that situation will be only from a very low level of energy. And in that situation, you're only ever going to see the problem. You're never going to see a solution or a way out of whatever the circumstance may be for you. So um, only when we respond to stress in the conscious moment um, without any sort of... Um, thoughts or you know fear-based thoughts or limiting beliefs and things like that going on are we able to actually remove or move out of uh, a draining sort of mindset full of victimization full of uh, destructive ways of thinking which only ever hold us back and stop us feeling feeling the way we want to feel and stop us doing the things that we want to do in life and if you're living a life full of stress all the time how likely is it that you're going to ever achieve anything you really want in life because you're only ever going to see it, see the reasons why you can't. You're only ever going to see the uh, problems. 
I can't do that because of this. I can't do this because of that. And you will live your life never moving forward because you're full of stress, full of anxiety, full of worry. Overthink literally everything that happens in your life. And if you're doing that, you're never in the moment. You're never able to control your mind. So you're never going to choose the thoughts and the feelings that you want to experience. Instead, your subconscious mind will choose them for you through the prism of fears, limiting beliefs, assumptions, and, and things like that. Things that have happened in a previous past experience. You might think that something's happened in the past, so that will fuel your thoughts in the moment, in, in, in the current, present time. But only when you're in the present moment can you become much more consciously aware of that and do something about that. So by doing something, um, by able to be, Grounding yourself in the moment, you're able to focus consciously uh, away from the problems, away from the obvious trigger, whatever's an annoyed you in the first place, and instead see it from a solution focus and a, a focus of opportunity where you're seeing things and reasons and ways you can actually use the situation to your advantage and move forward. You know, create thoughts and feelings and, and actions that work for you instead of draining you and, and keeping you stood still in life. So, um, so instead of your thoughts being, say, full of, uh, I don't know, blame, anger, frustration, self-pity, guilt, those sort of draining emotions and th thoughts and emotions, um, to name just a few, there's, there's a lot, um, you, you'll become much more aligned with the thoughts and feelings uh, like rationalisation, empathy, kindness, calmness, contentment, power, peace, these things. And you can choose those emotions by choosing the thoughts behind them the perspectives behind them. But again, you're only going to be able to do that when you're in the moment consciously aware of the thoughts that are creating your stress in the first place. And if you're not aware of that, guess what? You're not going to be able to change them because you won't know where the stress is coming from and what's triggered it in the first place. You might do, but you might not know how to change that. So the point is you feel much more in control of how you think, feel and act. And that gives you more power. That gives you power to do whatever you want in life. It gives you power to <coughs> sorry, grow confidence and self-belief and move out of a mindset which tells you that you can't do stuff in life or you can't move forward or find reasons and excuses why you can't move forward. So how do you snap out of a, um, a low energy stress reaction when something happens? Because let's face it, life happens. You cannot avoid stress. It will happen. The pain is inevitable in life. Um, suffering is optional. So it's, it's down to you what you choose you want to do. You can choose to be uh, a, a victim of stress. You can choose to uh, let it create feelings of anger. And you might be able to use those emotions productively in some way. Go to the gym or whatever, you know. So, but in the long term, being in that sort of mindset, it's not going to be sustainable and it's going to drain you and you're going to feel worse and worse and worse. And eventually, um, you know, it'll be too much for you because stress just nips away at us eventually and, and, and until there's nothing left of us. And that's when people have breakdowns in life. So you, you, it's important to be much more in control of your mindset in all, all, all situations so that you're always in control of how you respond to stress. So we're... we're everyone is different everyone deals and with stress or um difficulties differently you know i for instance go to the gym i go to the gym because i enjoy you know listen to my music i go to the gym and by the time i finish in the gym i feel great even if i feel low at the start or my energy is not right where it should be at the start i'll go and work on that and i'll come out and i'll be thinking much more clearly clearly and if i'm st struggling to write in a book like i've got a mental block or something like that i'll take myself up the gym and it breaks me free of that. And then I'll come out and I'll feel ideas flowing left, right and centre. But it's different for everyone. Some people enjoy reading, meditation or whatever, like I said. And But it might also be, you know, just breathing or something like that. However, some people don't, it doesn't have to be a physical thing that you're doing. You can do this mentally as well. And you do that by simply being able to identify the thoughts and the emotions that are draining you in the first place. And becoming much more consciously aware of how you're thinking at any given moment gives you the opportunity to do that. So by doing that, you give yourself the power to change the thoughts, change your emotions, change your actions. So for instance, instead of telling yourself something which creates um, emotions filled with things like anger, blame and judgment, um, think of a perspective you can use which um, creates feelings of happiness, calmness, power instead summon up those feelings bring yourself back to the now but moment by do, by doing that 
and then start thinking of things, solutions, opportunities instead, and ways you can move forward. And I'll give you an example. My Instagram, uh, some of you will know this, my Instagram um, account was hacked last week, right in the middle of my busiest day of the week, which didn't help me. Um, but I, I had a stress reaction, which is normal, everyone does, um, when anything happens out of the norm, let's say. I had the stress reaction, and uh, my instincts, were, I was frustrated, angry. However, uh, I was consciously aware enough in that moment to be able to realise that I was having a stress reaction. And by doing that, I was able to summon up feelings of the thoughts and fe uh, that created feelings of calm and um, opportunity. So I thought, I told myself, what opportunity is here? Rather than focusing only on the stress and the problem, I focused on what I could do here. What can I learn? And in doing so, I found a guy, um, by when I was messaging old followers to let them know I've been hacked, I found a guy who was asking me if I wanted to do a Netflix TV series. It's crazy. This And, and, and the guy had messaged me back in March and I'd missed his message. And by chance now, I'm, fi I'm finding that message and it's starting the dialogue with him. Now, that wouldn't have happened had I, had I not been hacked. This might, proves my point is there's an opportunity within everything that goes um, wrong, let's say. You know? So that's a, a good example of how by calming yourself down, bringing yourself back to the moment and consciously choosing how you want to be feeling instead of allowing your subconscious to choose for you, you're able to then see something in a different light, completely a different perspective and make it work for you in that moment rather than allowing the stress to completely take take over and just seeing nothing but problems and reasons why you can't do things in life and that's how we respond to stress um, in a positive way so hiring a coach actually helps um, you identify the unhelpful thoughts in the first place the four main blocks I call them and then change them in the moment we work on your awareness we work on your acceptance and we work on a whole realm of things to help you identify and then change the the, the things in your mind which don't work for you simple as that and it helps you stay consistent with this by challenging you, holding you accountable and doing it on a regular basis so that it becomes normal. And then you start living this um, new way of thinking, a new way of being, which works for you. And if you're interested in finding out how that can help you and how I can help work, work with you to get you where you really want to be in life, then drop me a line on my website and we will uh, book a call and we'll have a chat and uh, and see where we go from there. So I hope you've enjoyed tonight's uh, episode and it's, it's particularly relevant for all of us really because we all struggle with stress, stress at times and it's important to know that we can control that. Have a good evening everybody and I will talk to you all again next time. See you soon. Bye.